Welcome, in front of me is an Honor Pad X9 and today I will show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this device. So, let's get started by navigating into our settings and then selecting our home screen and wallpaper. Now the first thing that I'll showcase is the home screen layout and, or as it's called, style which basically allows you to choose between the two different modes, either the standard uh, or the drawer. Drawer is the typical, what I, or typically what I would consider standard for some reason. All the Chinese brands think that copying iPhones is standard for some reason, but oh well. Anyway, I do like the drawer myself, so I'm gonna swap to it. Unfortunately, it does close up the application, meaning settings, but now it clears out uh, the display. If you have a lot of applications, you can now access all of them right here. They will be neatly organized alphabetically. And you can also type right here to search for, for them. And you have this side here to actually like, choose them based on the alphabet and they do get highlighted whenever you encounter the letter. As you can see, it kind of jumps up. So yeah. Now, continuing on to the next option, we can navigate into the display and brightness and here we have light and dark mode so you can choose whichever one you want unfortunately there is no additional options for it so it's just a switch to either this or this because uh, i'm mentioning this because some other devices nowadays uh, have option to set it so it automatically switches between the two modes we don't have that here anyway uh, next thing that some people might find useful is the ebook mode which turns the display into monochrome um additionally other option would be to go into eye care and turn on where is it this so this basically lowers down the brightness and makes it super yellow now this isn't necessarily as visible on the camera and uh, now obviously you can see the change right but it's nothing compared to like how it actually looks to me so on the camera it just looks a little bit dimmer and uh, maybe a little bit warmer right um, but in person, uh, it, it's piss yellow, <laughs> let's be honest. So yeah, now you do have the schedule mode and enable all day. So you can choose whichever one you want. And with the all day, you actually have the intensity that you can choose. So uh, yeah, just pick whichever one you want. Now, like I said, this is designed for uh, eye care. Uh, so apparently during night you might want to use this personally i usually find this redundant but for reading books um on the tablet that would be actually a pretty nice option anyway moving on we have color temperature this just allows you to choose the uh, temperature of the display uh, so basically if you find that colors for images and whatever content you're viewing on your display is a little bit too saturated uh, or too well, not saturated enough you could make change it to warm cold whatever you want and another thing in here is the screen refresh rate so we have a couple options we have the dynamic high and standard now for the majority of the people the dynamic will be the best one but if you want to prioritize battery life on your device and for instance if you read ebooks on your device you might be interested in selecting it to be 60. This will mean that your device will be running at a lower refresh rate, meaning that scrolling up and down might seem kind of choppy, but you will get a better battery life. Uh, and obviously for reading books, if something looks choppy to you, it won't really matter. You're reading a book, so image is going to be still for the most part, unless you're just flipping through pages. Um, now, Dynamic will basically utilize both high refresh rate and a lower refresh rate. So lower refresh rate will be used, for instance, like right now. Uh, it's set to the dynamic, which support, supports up to 120. But right now this display is presumably running at 60 Hertz because there's nothing moving on it. So there's no need for it to be running at the higher refresh rate. So that's what the dynamic does. So there we go. Now, with that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.